Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about hooking into Mediator Pipelines. Um, so at this stage I'm just going to run you through the Mediator design pattern. Um, I wrote an extensive article on this entitled How the Mediator Design Pattern Simplifies an Application. There's a link to it in the description of this video. I'm going to just talk you through my uh, article and example I used. So we start off with a request class. Now in my example, my mediator design um, was to do the request. So the request would be um, 2 plus 2, which is the sum. Um, and that would then go through to the request handler, which would do the calculation. So it would be 2 plus 2 equals. And then the response class would output the results. So it would be 2 plus 2 equals 4. So now we're going to talk about hooking into the mediator pipelines a bit more. Um, at this stage, it's worth reminding us um, why we should use the mediator design pattern. And the main benefit is basically it separates all the concerns. So you have all your code in one place. So if you're relying on classes and functions on from different assemblies, you can import all those um, assemblies into the mediator handler and then you've got all your concerns available to you. And that sort of uh, reduces the risk of circular dependency. Um, so that's basically where one assembly relies on another, then you try to rely it back the other way, and then it throws a circular dependency error, um, something you don't particularly want. Um, so in this example here, we've got um, the normal request class, so we've initialized that, but then we've hooked into the pipeline here. So once we've initialized that request class, we can create a request preprocessor pipeline um, that will run just before the handler gets run. The handler then returns a response, and then once we've got a response, we can then um, run a request post processor pipeline. So now I'm going to talk you through a simple .NET Core MVC example on Mediator. Um, so basically, we're in our startup file at the moment. Um, and uh, first thing we need to do is to configure the services. Um, so as you can see here, what I've highlighted is we've got a request handler which relies on the request and the response. Um, just to tell you that I'm using the uh, mediator um, package, uh, mediator, without the O on the end. Um, and that's by Jimmy Boggard. You can find it in NuGet. Um, so you have to declare the service there. And above and below that, you've got a, the pipeline request, which I've commented out. And the reason why I've commented it out is because the pipeline requests actually appear in the same assembly. Um, I'm not too sure when you might need to include them. It might be when you need them in different, when you use the pipeline in different assemblies. I'm not too sure on that one, but that'll be a video for another day. So let's see what happens after that. Cool, so now we're into our home controller. We're into our action of index. We're gonna create a new instance of add request and pass in two parameters, two and two. So in there, we're going to store them as properties inside the add request. So we got the number one is two, the number two is two, and we're going to store them as properties inside the add request. Back to our action now, and we're basically going to send our request to Mediator. It basically knows from the service collection which handler to use, which is the whole point of declaring it at the start. So we sent it to Mediator, and the first thing it does is it hooks into the pipeline, into the preprocessor. Um, so in there, we've already got an instance of our request that we've just made. So we've got two and two in there. We've also got a function in the request called write sum as text. So that's what's w what we're going to run. So what that's basically going to store is the actual calculation um, inside um, as a string inside the add request class. So it's going to store 2 plus 2. Now we're into the request handler. This is where the actual calculation takes place. So we've got, once again got a reference to our request. Um, so we've got number 1 and number 2, 2 plus 2, and we're going to output that into a new variable called additional result, which you can see is now 4. We're now going to output that into a new response, um, and we'll basically return that response from the handler eventually but inside the add response constructor we pass in the total and then we store it as a property so we've outputted the result now now we're in 
hooking into the mediator pipeline again and this is the post processor so we've got the request and now we've got a reference to the response as well so we've got the initial two plus two but we've also got the response in there which is four so what we're going to do now is we're going to call this function in request add total to sum and we're going to pass in the total what that does is it basically appends the answer to our string um, so now the sum of text string reads two plus two equals four now we're back to our action and basically we're going to use the response that we've just got from mediator and we're going to output it to the view uh, so basically we're going to output the result is four and as you can see there that's exactly what's happened it's outputted that the result is four hope you enjoyed this video until next time it's goodbye